Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you the quickest and best ways to get buff balance. So, a lot of people outside of China think they can't use buff uh, because they can't deposit money if they're not Chinese, but that is wrong. So here's two main ways to obtain buff balance. So just buying it from other users or selling items on the website. Well, I recommend not buying balance directly because you'll either get a terrible deal on it or you'll be scammed. So with that out of the way, Here's the first and quickest method if you need buff balance right now to snipe some item you just saw or something like that. So first on, you go to CS Deals, where you can buy Team Fortress 2 keys for bank transfer or crypto. Use whichever method has the lowest fees for you or you prefer, um, that's up to you. Now after you purchase the keys and transfer them to your Steam account, you can immediately sell them on buff as there's no trade hold on these items. But keep in mind if you want to buy these items on the Steam market, which I not recommend, there will be a trade hold, so if you're trying to get buff balance that way. So always go on CS deals, I would recommend. Now, we have our, bought our key on CS deals for $190 uh, dollars per key. And we can sell them on buff for about $189 right now. Um, this leaves us with $1.84 after the 2.5% fee of buff. So this leaves you with around a return of around 97%, depending on the payment methods and the amount of fees you have to pay on CS deals. Also, if you slow sell these keys, the percentage might go up a little bit, but generally these keys are pretty stable. So this is the first method, and if you really need balance right now, but not my recommended method. So in my opinion, the smartest method and safest method is to buy skins for a discount on other websites. My recommendation is Skinport because I use them a lot. Uh, not sponsor or anything, and then selling them on buff after the trade hold expires. So for this I recommend to use very liquid items, like non stat track knights, because they sell a lot more, or stuff like a Prince Dream skin, like the M4A1S. And if you're not familiar with them, avoid pattern based knives and skins for the most part, because it's risky, you might not get your balance back if you don't know what you're doing. So my latest example of this is when I myself bought a Falchion Doppler. Uh, it was a Sapphire for 870 years on Skinport. At the time, the price of a similar knife was around 900 euros on buff. But as you know, Source 2 kind of cost that to explode, so I got a lot more for it. But let's say I did sell it for around 900 euros. After fees, it was, this would leave me with about 877 euros. That's returning me 101% of my initial money in Chinese Yuan, which is pretty good. And just to show you, the meds still viable, because like three days ago, someone bought the Felchin Doppler Sapphire at a huge discount for 830 euros. So people will still put it up for cheaper, you just have to be in time to buy it. Now I will show you how to find these deals. Uh, right now there's not much on it, and if there was, I was going to buy it, right? <laughs> um, but we're going on Skimport and look at all the skins. So I select highest discounts and search within the price range you are comfortable with on how much you want to transfer to buff. So as a good example here, I take the Op Asimov stat track field tested. On Skimport I can get it for around 280 euros and 32 cents right now. And on buff after fees, if I just put it at the lowest it is right now, it sells for the exact like two hundred and eighteen dollars and forty cents. Thus giving me about a uh, two hundred and forty euros. Sorry. Um, Thus giving me about a one to one return. So if you want to get the most bang for your buck, use this method because you will always basically get a one to one and even sometimes better returns. Um, so that's all I have for you today. Um, if you want to get buff balance, do it this way. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next with some more tips. See ya.